So I don't think she was all that surprised. She has taken a few pictures of me and sent to her mom. So they, whenever I do something that, that they would find ridiculous, you know, they like to share pictures back and forth with one another. Thank you very much, Rocky, for jumping on the call with me. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. It's, um, it's through stories like this, you coming on, giving your time, telling, talking about the tape that will be able to, to reach more people and ultimately change more lives. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. No, absolutely, man. So we've, we've messaged a bit back and forth and I saw some of your comments on the hostage tape army Facebook group, but let's jump back to the beginning. What was it that got you into mouth tape in the first place? Uh, I was probably the, I saw a few ads for it and I didn't think a whole lot about the ads. Uh, but I was. It was Andrew Huberman, so it was probably the Joe Rogan podcast, the recent one that he did with Andrew Huberman. Right. Uh, and, and Huberman was talking about how powerful nasal breathing was. Uh, I used to do MMA. I mean, so I knew the old adage of if you could get somebody, you know, to breathe through their mouth and you knew they were tired. Yeah. Uh, but now I'm 39 and I haven't done that for a while. And, uh, so I was like, well, I'm a nurse. So I was like, let me see what the science behind this is since Huberman's talking about it. You know, Huberman's kind of the, the sports science uh, go-to guy right now. Yeah. And uh, I just saw the, the good data behind the benefits uh, of doing, you know, the nasal breathing and uh, decided to just jump in and give it a try. Instead of being cautious, I actually wanted to make a bigger commitment to it. So I jumped straight into the one year of tape uh, right, off, got, right off the bat no trial period right on, yeah right off the bat no trial period no anything so i love it i wanted to get into it I i'm a um, nothing yeah you probably can't tell i mean i'm sitting down but i'm six eight and i'm about 260 uh so even though i'm not a i carry my weight very well uh pretty lean I still will fall into the demographic of a uh, high risk for sleep apnea. And I'm also a cath lab nurse. So I know how powerful breathing is for your heart, for your vascular system. Uh, so that was also right. a big part of everything for me. Right. Very cool. That's awesome. That's sweet. Did you have any, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. I was three. Right. Um, did you have any thing specifically that you were looking for like you mentioned um you mentioned nasal breathing did you that you wanted the benefits of that did you have anything like was it waking up in the morning you were like i think i could benefit from this it was snoring was there anything one thing in particular or was it overall i want to start doing this more so i'm going to grab the tape just to so, uh I'm doing it at night so we we kind of started chatting back and forth talking about knees over toes uh, so I would have to talk about that a little bit. So whenever I was 36, I had kind of let myself go physically. I was married. Uh, we were in the middle of COVID and just mentally, I wasn't in a bad spot, but I could feel myself kind of slipping down that path. And, uh, so I started working out and, and once I started following that knees over toes program and, and basically trying to rebuild and reshape myself. Uh, I thought about creative ways that I could do that. So there's an app that I have called athletic and I actually track my HRV on there. Right. Uh, so about a week and a half or two weeks in, I hadn't thought about it. So I hadn't been tracking it religiously lately. And I looked at my HRV scores and they were not, um, I mean, they weren't like crazy high. So typically in a week, in a standard week, I probably have like, a red or two and a few oranges and maybe a green in there. And for right. those two weeks, I probably had five or six greens and all orange. So, um, yeah, I mean, so, uh, performance, you know, HRV is a big performance score. So, uh, yeah. that marker was encouraging for me. Uh, I'm a coffee holic. I think I could have the best night's sleep in the world. I could wake up 110% battery. And the first thing I do yeah. still get two or three cups of coffee in the morning just because I love it. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't had to like drink coffee all day to go. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had 
more sustained. I wouldn't say that there's been a, a tremendous difference in the morning. I work night shift for like 11 years. So I right. think I'll probably always hate waking up in the morning. Uh, <laughs> but, but once I get going, uh, I mean, usually it's two or three little cups of coffee at the hospital and then maybe a cup after lunch to whereas before it was, you know, if I was tired that day, it was literally coffee the entire day, just trying to make it through that day. Yeah. Cause you'd be putting in a 12 hour shift. Is that right? I would imagine like a, a seven to seven type shift or something along those lines. So thankfully I'm a five day a week. So I'm How sweet. Hey, Technically six thirty to three, but a lot of the time I come in early. So a lot of the time I get there at, at five thirty, and then we take calls. So it's a very real possibility that we get called in, you know, the middle of the night, or we might just get home for the day and then get called back in. Right. So sleep disruption is very real thing for us. Yeah, and that's that's cool to be able to track it and see the metrics. Like it, it's, it's a tangible result versus, oh, I feel better. Mm -hmm. And then you're not sure, is it placebo? Are you, you know, just starting to do some other stuff? Is it because I'm doing these things? Right. But it's, it's neat to be able to actually like look at it and see like, Hey, the, the green has gone from one to five to six. Like that's a huge increase. And if you just think about, I mean, the, those results and what that means over a two week span like that, that just starts to compound in terms of what you can start to do when you're exercising, consuming less mm -hmm. coffee, getting out there. Like you mentioned, the knees over toes program as such a sweet program, but you have to have energy to do it. Right. Oh yeah. And, and the good sleep. Like, I mean, it just, it just snowballs and compounds where it's, I'm sleeping better now. And now I can exercise better. The better, the more I exercise, the better in shape I am and all those sorts of things. So that's really cool. That's really sweet. And every, everything just starts playing off of one another. So. Um, you know, like I said, I was, I was 36 and had been in really good shape at one point and had, you know, my wife moved from another area. So we basically dated by going to restaurants. And then whenever we got married, I found out she could cook. Right. <laughs> uh, and I really, I really enjoy a good home cooked meal. So, um, you know, just first couple of years of marriage, kind of, kind of let things go, went real happy at work and change jobs. And, uh, right. also I'm nine years older than her. So it, you know, once we had been married a few years, it really hit me, you know, like, Hey, I've got to take care of myself because yeah. being a few years older than her, whenever we retire, um, uh, I want to make sure that I'm in the best shape possible. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw your last interview. So that guy, I wasn't even thinking about this and I was watching that interview. So that guy, he and his wife are pregnant, uh, and and I are pregnant. Oh, very so she, nice. Congratulations. Yeah. That's so awesome. she's, uh, she's about 14 and a half weeks. Uh, right. so that was, that was also another thought of, Hey, if, if I can find anything, even if I don't get the quantity of sleep that I need, if I can increase my quality of sleep, uh, then maybe that helps me going into fatherhood where I know, uh, yeah, sleep's probably not going to be yeah. there very much. I've, I've been, uh, I'm lucky to have two little boys, three and a half, one and a half. And I mean, it's a beautiful life, but when it comes to sleep, it, it starts to get a little bit more inconsistent. That's, uh, that's one thing I'll tell you. That's for sure. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Definitely to have them. But I will say your, the sleep schedule becomes a bit more unpredictable. So it's exactly like you're saying it, you start to focus less on the quantity and then more on the quality, mm -hmm. right? You you might be used to eight hours. It might jump down to like five, six hours, but if you can keep that quality up, um, you're still able to like function where you're not, you know, five cups of coffee a day or feeling like a zombie all day. So mm -hmm. just, uh, that's awesome that you have that perspective and congratulations. That's, uh, that's super exciting. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm trying to do podcasts and read books and try to ask all of my friends who have a, it's going to be a girl. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mountain bike and paddleboard and do MMA and lift weights. And yeah. so I'll, I'll probably have to swerve a little bit and figure out what the, what the grow dad life is like. Exactly. You'll be braiding hair in no time. Doing things like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome though. What was your, what was your wife's reaction when you told her, 
hey, I, I heard this thing. I'm going to buy Meo Tape. I'm not even going to buy the one-month trial. I'm, I'm just buying a year. What was her reaction to it? Was she supportive? Was she nervous? Was it just another crazy idea that you had? What were her, what were her thoughts? Crazy idea. I mean, she's been with me. We've been together for six years. Um, so I don't think she was all that surprised. She has taken a few pictures of me and sent to her mom. <laughs> say so whenever I do something that, that they would find ridiculous, you know, they like to share pictures back and forth with one another. Right. Um, so she's taken a few pictures, um, that was just, you know, of, of yeah. the tape, you know, it looks funny. So, um, but she, the first probably two or three nights that I had it on, I had some slobbering and there was one night she said that I was. She said, I sounded like a train. I was just puffing. And she was like, you were breathing through your tape. So I actually uh, got a mouthpiece, like an anti-snoring mouthpiece that you can adjust okay. and protrude your jaw a little bit. And so whenever I got that mouthpiece, so I, I put my mouthpiece in at night and then I tape. Uh, and I feel like that's helped a lot because then you don't have, you know, you're not having slobber that accumulates everywhere. Um, yeah. That was probably a month ago. Uh, I've woken up right. every night with my tape on since then to where it's the first, first couple of nights. And I've read this on the Facebook group. It just seems like there's an adjustment, um, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there's that adjustment period of, it seems like people either didn't tape well or, or drooling through the night. Um, uh, but the, the mouthpiece and the mouth tape seem to be the sweet spot for me. Yeah, and it, it's funny that you mentioned that, the adjustment period. It's usually around a week or so based on what I've heard, what I've experienced for yourself to fully adjust. I know when I first started and you hear other stories of this, people will sometimes, without even realizing, they'll they'll rip it off at night and they'll wake up and it'll be like stuck to their hand because they'll just kind of wake up, peel it off, and then... You'll get this like, oh, it fell off in the middle of the night. And then it's like, mm -hmm. no, you're you're actually just two days in and you woke up halfway through and ripped it off. But mm -hmm. there is an adjustment. I mean, if if you've done, I mean, for yourself, it was 36 years of, or however many long. I know for myself, it was like 20 years of me breathing through my mouth at night. Like everything needs a total adjustment after that. My muscles, everything, the jaw mm -hmm. needs to get used to it. So it takes a while. And what I actually did, I'd, I'd watch a TV show with the, with the tape on or a movie, slowly working my way up to it. And then that way, when I was able to get to the night, I was still like, it still took a little bit of time, but if you stick with it, then you're able to like get those results, which is just so awesome. So that's cool that, that's cool that you were able to stick with it and you, you didn't just write it off. You just, you were like, okay, Huberman saying it, we got to keep it going, keep trying it. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Um... I'd say probably the, since I've been doing it, some of the, the easy little tips and tricks that people could do. So I got some nasal saline. Uh, so I, you know, I squirt and clear my nose out before I go to bed at night. Uh, I've had my nose broken like eight or nine times. So deviated septum club, right. you know, like a lot of the, a lot of the folks that were in there. Uh, I like to sleep on my side. So I've been sleeping more on my back. Uh, I think that was some of the drooling stuff going on early on. And so just adjusting your sleeping position a little bit. Um, and then I usually put some Vicks vapor rub just like right around my nose. And I'm, I'm not real sure why my mom used to put that stuff on me whenever I was little and I was sick. So it, it just, it feels like whenever I'm breathing through my nose that helps me, um, just helps yeah. make it feel more natural. Yeah. You mentioned the broken nose. Would you have like a, a deviated septum now then, or do you find it like more difficult to breathe like ever since the broken nose or, or has it become easier since mouth taping? I know a broken nose can sometimes really mess with some people's nasal breathing and really make it tough, I, to, tough to do. But what have you found? I've broken it a lot. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't really remember what life was like before the first time I broke it. Right. Uh, and then obviously doing the MMA training, you'd break it every so often. Somebody would just throw a punch or something would happen. And yeah, they you know it's probably mangled in there, man. It's probably yeah. like DVS uh, septum. Yours is probably going like just zigzagging. Yeah. And also my nose bleeds a lot. So if, right. if, if it gets dry, uh, it might not bleed badly. I've had to have it cauterized before. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, there, there were a few nights that I'd wake up through the night and it just felt congested and I'd adjust myself, get back on my back. And so that's whenever I decided, I was like, well, I had this, you know, nasal saline at the house and it's two bucks for a little jar and it lasts for yeah. a couple of months if you just do a squirt or two. So yeah, trying to Very get that cool. going. What have you noticed at work since using it? Have you had more energy through the day? You had mentioned a couple less cups of coffee, maybe. Have your coworkers noticed anything? What have? Yeah, less cups of coffee. Uh, less cups of coffee for sure. Uh, even whenever I'm tired, getting into my workout, post workout, uh, able to push through that without a whole lot of problem. Uh, yesterday, I came home and helped Anna clean up a little bit, and then went on like a eight and a half, nine mile bike ride around the community. We've got a lot of trails around our house. Right. Um, so just the ability to sustain effort through the day. Um, you know, there, there have been times where I would come home and, you know, have grand ideas of what I was going to do after work. And then I'd be driving home from work and be like, all I want to do is go home and take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I haven't, I haven't had that. I mean, it's been probably five weeks now. Um, uh, but just, it, it feels like, you know, like I said, the objective thing is the HRV scores have yeah. consistently been higher. Um, and I haven't, I, I can't say that. I mean, I just feel amazing. Um, but I've definitely noticed, I don't feel like I'm dragging through the day. Like right. I would have a tendency to before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. And one thing that I found, and I'm guessing you're going to find too, is as your when your daughter is born and as she gets older, it's the energy at the end of a work day, just to be able to to hang it with her, play with her. When she mm-hmm. gets to be like a year and a half, two years, she's just going to be a ball of energy. And when you get home, <laughs> it's going to be go time with daddy. And what I noticed is that since mo taping and getting that good sleep, um, Work was always one thing, right? You can push through, but it's when you get home and then you've got a three-year-old who just wants to like go and he just wants to hang out. And since being mm-hmm. able, since mo taping, I've had the energy to just get home and it's like, hey, I- I'm still able to go here. I'm still able to feed off his energy and we can still like play together or wrestle or do whatever you want. So that's one of the really cool things that I noticed where you mentioned like getting home and not feeling super sleepy. And as your daughter gets older, man, like, it's just going to be awesome having that energy and getting home and being able to play with her still and not being gassed or exhausted from work. So that's yeah, we're, we're lucky. We live in a great spot. We've got like a 25 acre lake, uh, on site in the community. We've got a splash pad right across the street. We've got two playgrounds close by. We probably have 15 or 20 miles of hiking and biking trails around the area. So I'm just excited to throw her in a little kangaroo pack and hit some of the trails. And then once she can, once she can balance a little bit, try to get her on a little inflatable paddleboard and, right. you know, come home instead of, instead of the routine. Now, usually I come straight home and go to the gym mm-hmm. and work out for an hour, hour and a half, you know, maybe pick her up, give mom a little break, get a quick little workout in, and then let's go hit it, do whatever she wants to do. Yeah. That's sweet, man. That's, uh, that's an awesome life. I'm looking forward. I like, I'm excited for that for you, man. That's a, mm-hmm. that's such a great life. I'm, I'm pumped for you. And like, yeah, just that better sleep, right? Like one, one green to five green. It's, it's everything, right? Like, I mean, Huberman talks about it. People don't understand it enough that good sleep is just, it's so important. Like it, it's not a wasted eight hours. It's not eight hours where oh, I can't do something. It's such a vital eight hours in your life to just set up the rest of the 16 in that day and to make it so that you're not dragging your feet through those 16 hours. You're, you're there, you're present, you're energized, you're, you're able to do stuff. So that's super cool. That's where you're growing and that's where you're recovering. So exactly, exactly. Well, Rocky, I'll finish this off. I won't take up any more of your time. I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's again, it's through, through testimonials and stories like this, that people are going to be able to watch this. They're going to be able to see that this stuff, it's not a gimmick. It's not a, it's not just like a, a, a cheap hack, but that this is real and it's, it's able to help people like yourself, um, get better sleep. So I just want to say, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
Oh, I guess uh, let me let me get one thing in. So you were saying that it's not yeah, cheap absolutely. and it's not. Yeah, yeah. So I actually uh, am probably just like everybody else. And I was like, I wonder if I really have to have that stuff. Let me try a couple of other tapes. And so I tried clear tape from the hospital. I tried silk tape from the hospital and I tried uh, it's not duct tape. It's like gorilla tape. Right. And none of those, I mean, they would stick for just a second, but even just sitting there, I mean, they all fell off very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I know I don't, I've just got a little bit of stubble, but uh, if you make a little purse lip and you get your seal on with the hostage tape, then, then you're locked up and you're sealed through the night. Yeah. Yeah. It's ready absolutely. To go. Yeah. Hey, I, I appreciate that last little, uh, little input there. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, people don't realize it, but it, it's you try all these other ones and it's, it might get you a little bit, but it's just not, it doesn't hold the same. There's too many mornings where you're waking up and it's falling off. So I appreciate you throwing mm -hmm. that in there. That's awesome. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Rocky. I'll continue to, to see you in the Facebook group as always. I don't know if you saw that we're launching a, a four week all in sleep challenge, but, but check that out if you, if you're interested in that. Um, cause mouth tape is just one step, but so yeah, check that out if you're interested and, and thanks so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I might have to hop in because, uh, maybe I can win and, and replace the 20 or 25 <laughs> strips that my dog ate the other night. Dude, dude, that's brutal. So the tin was just the, open and he, he just I left the, them or? I left the tin, uh, on the bedside table and I always tease my wife. She tells me that the dogs aren't allowed in the bedroom and, right. uh, the dogs always end up in the bedroom. So I always ask her, I'm like, well, when did they, when did they learn to open the door? And she'll get annoyed with me, but, uh, yeah. you know, 50, 50 pound lab order collar, he gets in there and he starts sniffing around. If it's anything unusual, then yeah, he's like, Hey, let me, let me taste it. There you go. Apparently yeah, it tasted that, good. That's tough. That's 12 to uh, 20. Yeah. 20 strips. That's brutal. That's not gonna. That's not gonna feel good in his stomach. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> that that poor guy. No, this is awesome. Thanks so much, Rocky. Really appreciate.